It is well known that in a market democracy, the principle of social partnership operates as three independent sectors of society. First, governmental. Second, private business. And third, public, which serves society, i.e. citizens of one state or another. Moreover, the third sector is developed enough that it can execute a public control for the first and second sectors. If the third sector is underdeveloped, the state cannot be democratic. With the weak third sector, there are two types of states. First type, totalitarian, if dominated by the governmental sector. And second, a wild capitalistic state, if dominated by the second sector. We will now consider the purposes and problems of each sector. The governmental sector pursues a means to power, which is a tool to execute tasks and possess as many votes as possible from all levels of society. Eventually, these voters consider themselves average and need to satisfy the governmental sector in the form of state social programs. The aim of the business sector is to maximize profit. For this, the business sector tends to gain as much as possible a greater sales market for their goods and services. In these situations, the preferred class is the average buyer. A judicious person will notice that the satisfaction of needs, rights, and liberties of all people are only possible in an ideal state. Such states currently do not exist. Imagine society as presented in the form of an ellipse. We will see on the polls that there always tends to be groups of people whose rights and liberties are not realized. These people have a choice. To wait for an ideal tomorrow or decide to face the problems today. There are two ways to face the problem. One way is to decide problems by yourself, and the other is to decide problems together. An analysis of public interrelation shows that the second way will most often be used in life. Different social groups are united in public associations, non-governmental, non-profit organizations. This allows for the grouping of personal resources that will increase the possibilities for defending the rights and liberties and realizing interests of personal and professional nature. In a market democratic state, people have the possibility to solve social problems themselves. This allows for conditions favorable for forming public organizations, non-government, non-profit, NGOs. In a market democratic state, there exists a certain social political law that forces people to create non-government, non-profit organizations, or NGOs. A social problem will inevitably lead to the formation of a non-governmental, non-profit organization. Club Kiwanis is not an exception. In the beginning of the 20th century, in the USA, there was the problem of dishonest professional relations. This led to the creation of the Kiwanis Club by Alan Brown in 1914. People liked the problem-solving methods of the club, i.e. through non-government and non-profit organization. Enough that Kiwanis became, with time, a large international organization. Here and after, for brevity, non-government, non-profit organizations were generally accepted throughout the world by the term NGO, or non-government organizations. Developed democratic countries long ago understood the importance of non-government, non-profit organizations for deciding social problems. The government and business sectors actively use their services, which create vital circumstances for NGO activity. For example, in the United States, with the support of the government, there are thousands of philanthropic funds that finance the thousands of NGOs on priority aims of social development. Americans consider this advantageous, since NGOs work more efficiently and efficient than government services, so they decide to finance them. This efficiency is shown in that NGOs express public opinion and signifies their better understanding of people, which leads to the reduction of social tension. NGOs are more operative in their own actions and address their function better than the government is able to. NGO activity is transparent to society and, as compared with state services, subject to such irritations as bureaucracy and corruption. Unlike state services, personnel NGO staff is not large. The most interesting fact is that when the problem is solved, the NGO will disintegrate. As mentioned earlier, 
the certain social political law dictates that there, if there are social problems, there will be NGOs, and without social problems, then NGOs will not exist. It is difficult to optimize state social services. They continuously grow, and the government tries to reduce them, but is not able, regardless of the situation of the problem. Total Results Turn your attention to the attitude of the third sector that consists of public associations, which are created by the people on the poles of society, whose interests are not satisfied or restricted. Also, the third sector can only pertain those organizations whose mission is based on solving social or political problems, which concerns its members and people with similar problems. Those organizations must be capable to lead advocacy companies on defending the rights and liberties in the field of solving social political problems. Right now, using Kazakhstan as an example, observe the post-Soviet countries on the basis of what was mentioned previously. As soon as these countries choose a course for building a market democratic society, a result was the appearance of the private sector, second sector. The third sector also appeared, non-government, non-profit organizations. Today, in post-Soviet countries, there operate thousands of public organizations and they're still growing. Those organizations are still weak, but today they lead important work, which promotes a democratic development of their own countries. In the third sector appeared qualified specialists. Here are some NGO leaders in Kazakhstan. Searching for methods and organizational forms for sustainable development of the third sector and worldwide community integration accompany growth in post-Soviet countries. International non-government, non-profit organizations, for example, Kawanas, can suggest to these countries time-tested forms and methods. For this, post-Soviet countries have a good field and situation. However, it is necessary to acknowledge one factor. Look at it. Everyone knows this famous saying, if you give a man a fish, he will not be hungry until the fish is gone. However, give him a fishing rod and teach him how to fish, and he will never go hungry again, and the problem of hunger will disappear. In highly developed countries, they do, they do like the proverb says. In developing countries, besides the fishing rod and knowledge to fish, you must lead people to the river where the fish are. How can this be done? A way to help develop the third sector, one that is shown to be universal for developed and developing countries, is a service center. If you use military terminology, the service center is like an outpost or forward position. Through the outpost, a new staging area is created for recruiting club members and create public recognition. An example of this is the Kiwanis European Service Center. The creation of this center reanimated club activity, which, in the opinion of many, was considered inactive, and began work on creating new Kiwanis clubs. We, the Kiwanis Club of Taraz, felt this during the Kiwanis Conference in Budapest, Hungary in April. For the first time in 10 years, we took part in such an event that was important for our club's activities. The other members of the conference are from different countries, which are located in the European Service Center's zone of influence, and talked about the importance of a service center. Another example is our club. With the efforts of club members, in 1998 we built our own club service center and helped other NGOs build their own service centers. This allowed for our club to become a very well-known organization in Kazakhstan, and also to the ability to build a new club in the city of Almaty. Without this service center, which today serves club members, people, and those Kiwanis interests, we would not have been able to accomplish all of this. Thank you for your attention.